is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to auto auction rebuilds we are back we got another one we got another one we've got a 1998 pontiac transport montana edition and i think we got a great deal on it assuming it runs and drives so what are we waiting for let's check it out but just a second there's more cars to come in case you find that you're bored or not interested in the Pontiac Transport Montana Edition. How about a 98 GMC Jimmy 4x4? Or we've got the Nissan Maxima that displayed symptoms of a bad transmission, but I think we're gonna fix it for $60. Stay tuned for the next video on this car. I think this is still a winner. Or the 2006 Nissan Xterra that needs tires and an alternator that we paid $900 for. I still think this one is going to turn out to be a winner as well, but only time will tell. Of course, if you're not interested in any of those, well, we have this. <laughs> 1983 Chevrolet Camaro with air conditioning. This, well, we'll talk about that another time. I, I'm still not sold on that car being a good deal. There is also a 2007 Chrysler 300. I've got a 1925 Model T, all original, a 1929 Model A Roadster, basically a tea bucket. I've got another 1925, I believe. Uh, 1926, something like that, tea bucket that should be arriving any day now. In fact, it's supposed to be here today, but it hasn't shown up yet. There's plenty of cars, an 84 Chevy Citation, an 89 Honda, 1800 Accord. But today, we're here to look at the Transport, the Montana Edition. In fact, I think at some point, didn't this go from a Pontiac Transport to a Pontiac Montana? I could be wrong. It's been a while. I mean, this is 1998. I was literally 18 years old when this vehicle came out. I am 42 now. One of the things I found in this, and I wish I would have got it on video. I could have, I could have redid it, but this is a mousetrap that was sitting. Oh, I guess it was that easy to redo, huh? It was sitting uh, back there. I didn't know what it was. I, I reached back in a different video and I went to grab it and uh, yeah, it was a mousetrap that went off. So the interior is absolutely beautiful. And despite the mouse trap in here, I see no signs of mice. It is absolutely beautiful. Headliner looks gorgeous. The seats are beautiful as well. Rear heat and air conditioning, side airbags. I mean, this thing comes with all the goodies, guys. Um, Carfax report right here as well. This is a Carfax one owner, 26 detailed records available so uh it's it's been well taken care of i think it did have an accident but it is not salvaged it is a clean title which is what we always like to see right let's see title title this is all title stuff slight damage to the right side registration issued or this is all registration stuff so i don't see i don't see anything about service records no i don't see I see nothing about any service records at all, so I guess that's not so good. But anyway, it obviously had to have services done to it because right here we have Hogan's Jif E Lube. Uh, someone was servicing the oil. It's got 150,495 miles on the odometer. It's got two key fobs, which is always nice. Why don't we fire it up, see what it does? Well, she fired right up immediately you're greeted with a low coolant light that's very common on these very common radio we were just watching our uh screen yes radio works ac no i don't think the ac works oh, i was really hoping I was really hoping for cold air on this one, guys. Oh, man. What about the important window? Yes. How about a window that's not so important? Yes. We have a power door. Oh. Okay, I didn't know it had power doors. That's nice. Garage door opener, sunglass holder. Rear vent windows. That power door looks like it works pretty good. Okay. We've got rear wipers, fog lights, and traction control. Very nice. 
we're going to set the trip to zero because we're going to take her on a spin. But first, I'm going to pop this hood. Oh, the hood's already popped. Make sure this AC stays on. And I think this one I'm going to go ahead and just shoot a little bit of Freon in just to see what it does. It ain't going to hurt nothing. Add a little Freon to it. Tires look to be in pretty decent shape. This could be a real winner. Yeah, it's got good tires on it too. Very nice. Listen to how good this thing runs. I do believe it has sat for quite a while. Let's put find the hood prop here. There we go. 3400 sequential fuel injection. She really does run great, guys. No blow by at all. That's nice. Oil is very clean. That's very clean oil. I'm checking all the fluids on this one because I actually really like this. Transmission fluid is a little dark. It's not black but it's definitely not red or pink anymore. Interstate battery sitting down there, which tells me somebody at some point was taking care of it. I wonder where the charge port is for the, uh, for the R134 on this. I mean, I'm certain it's probably got a leak, but I would sure love, there it is right there, right by the exhaust, really. No way. That's, that's where they thought it'd be a good idea to put the charge port was by the exhaust. Maybe that's the high side. <laughs> I hope that's the high side. Yeah. Okay, well, that could be a lot of fun. Give me just a minute, guys. Let me see if I can throw some Freon on this, in this. I'd like to get some AC going before we hit the road and see how it drives, if it drives. It's listed as a run and drive, but that doesn't mean it actually runs and drives. All right. We threw several cans of Freon in it. This thing holds a lot because it's got that rear air conditioning. And guess what? We have cold AC. I mean, real cold. I know what you're saying. Well, mechanic in a bottle ain't gonna fix it. And you're right, it probably won't. But we can hope. It doesn't hurt to hope that maybe, just maybe, possibly, she sat for a long period of time and just ran out of Freon. You know, maybe over the last, you know, 20 years, it just kind of slowly leaked out. And maybe now that we've recharged it, it'll last another 20 years. And that stuff that I put in it, that mechanic in a bottle for the air conditioning, that is good stuff, guys. It comes with uh, O-ring seals. Or <laughs> O-ring seals. O-ring sealer. It'll find minor leaks. And it will have no problem swelling up the seals and kind of rejuvenating them so it doesn't uh, leak again. Here we go. Oh my God, it shifted. It shifted. And the low coolant light went out. I figured it would. Will it shift again? I mean, hell, we're, yes, we're in overdrive. We're doing 50. No warning lights on the dash. Temperature's good. Plenty of fuel. Look at this bad boy in that air conditioning. Ice cold. Yes. So I'm almost embarrassed to admit this. I don't want to get rid of this one. Um, the reason I'm filming this is because it's time for me to let these cars go. The cars that are coming out on video right now, like they've been sitting. They've just been sitting here and it's time to send them down the road to a good home, to somebody that can actually use them, fix them, whatever. This one, however, this one may have been too good of a deal for me to let go. I'm setting the cruise control and we're gonna find out if cruise control works. Yeah, half the time it does, half the time it doesn't. No, cruise control does not work. Oh, that's fine. That's fine, I can live without cruise control. Let's, hand, let's see how it handles this corner here. Oh, the transmission's buttery smooth. Buttery smooth. I mean, that's the way it should shift, guys. Oh, I love this. I love this. I forgot about the Pontiac Transport. I really did. Good Lord, am I really going 75? It doesn't even feel like it. It 
doesn't even feel like you're going that fast. Listen to how quiet it is. And did I mention the air conditioning? <laughs> Let's turn on the rear air. We'll have to go back there and check that when we get back. We'll go ahead and crack the rear air conditioning on right now and see if that does any good. This is amazing. This is amazing. Windshield wipers? Yep, they work. Um, turn signals. Looks like they work from here. Yeah. This is nice. Like I, I'm not even I'm not even joking, guys. This is this is nice. Look at the steering wheel. It's nice and straight. Well, I, the the road is what do you call it? Crowned in the middle, so you kind of gotta you gotta kind of hold the wheel a little bit. But the steering is straight. It goes straight. It doesn't pull me off the road in any direction. the The wheel is not vibrating. When I hit the brakes, how does it do? Oh, brakes are nice and smooth. Very, very smooth brakes as well. No vibrations. This is impressive. It's so quiet compared to all the other cars I've been driving lately. This one is a dream. This is a dream. I'm gonna have to look up how much I paid for it. Um, I honestly don't remember. Like, if I, my life could depend on telling you how much I paid for this van, I wouldn't be able to tell you. I, I just, I don't have a clue. Good night. Wow, I forgot, did the windows work? Yeah. And this window? Yeah. It needs a transmission service for sure. The transmission is not doing anything funky. It's not acting weird. I'm just telling you. The transmission fluid has started turning brown. And at that point, it's definitely due for a filter, fluid, pan gasket, and then I would probably change the fluid again after maybe 5,000 miles or so. I'd go ahead and hit it a second time. Um, this is something that should be preserved. This thing runs and drives so nice. We're almost to our turnaround point. We've got less than half a mile. This is great. I forgot how torquey the 3400s were. These were some great motors back in the day. I mean, they suffered from some pretty some pretty su sucky failures. They had, like uh, head gaskets that were usually caused by a lower intake plenum gasket. Uh, the lower gasket always broke, always cracked, broke, got water into the into the oil, and you'd end up with overheating issues that would inevitably crack or warp the cylinder heads. If you could get past that, though, these were these were actually really good, really good vehicles, really good vehicles. I have done so many head gaskets and so many lower intake plenum gaskets on these guys. I could do them in my sleep. I don't find them to be complicated at all anymore. Let's put it in park. Let's check the back and see if the rear air conditioning is working. So I just looked up to find out how much I paid for this. My winning bid was $325. $325. This is one of those deals that is almost too good for me to let go. Um, a $325 car. It came out to like $751, some weird number like that, but like $750 out the door. That's, that's absolutely ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, the rear air is cold as well. I can't tell you how many times I've gotten minivans and the front air will work, but the rear air will be dead. Usually a leak in the back somewhere, but the rear air is cold too. Are you serious right now? You know, I don't win on everything, but it definitely feels good when you do. You know what I mean? It feels really good when you actually have a winner. Look at all the cargo room back here too. There's plenty of room back here. Lots of little cubbies. What is this, a relay? There's a relay right there. And a, a vacuum line and a T. I guarantee you this T right here with the broken lines, that's why the cruise doesn't work. Somebody did a quick fix. Oh, we have an air compressor back here too. A cigarette lighter, an air compressor that, oh. Damn it, Randy. Okay. Edit. No, I'm kidding. I <laughs> I screwed up. My bad. My bad. Got your jack right there. It still has the jack and everything in it, too. 
Yeah, I won't touch it. I don't want to break it. <laughs> that sucked. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know that eventually I'll sell this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to let this one go as quick as I expected. This is just too damn nice. It's dirty. It's dirty. It needs a hell of a detail. Still no warning lights on the dash. Temperature is nice and cool. God. X level, it kicks in the one fan and runs it to run the air conditioner. This is, this is insane. Look at all the storage. What is down here? Okay. Cigarette lighter and ashtray, another cigarette lighter. You got the original book for the 98 Transport. Good Lord. There's something about these old things. I just love them, guys. I can't explain it. I don't know why, but you guys watch the videos, so you must love them too. Let me get buckled up. Let's get this one on the road and get back to the house. All right, let's get a little scratch. <laughs> get it, girl. Oh, she shifts great. She really runs, drives, and shifts great. That cruise control is going to be a simple issue. I, as soon as I saw that vacuum tee, I knew exactly what it was. I knew exactly what it was. Somebody, somebody didn't have a tee available, and they simply bypassed the cruise control. Um, easy enough. Just get some more vacuum hose and take apart whatever they did. Run that new tee, and you'll be good to go, man. This thing, this thing is great. This is great. I'm gonna try to convince myself on the way home that I need to sell it. I need to let it go. Somebody else out there could really use a solid running, driving family vehicle. I don't need it. This is me right now trying to convince myself. The problem is when I find something like this and it's such a good deal, it's such, it's such a good deal. $750 out the door, $325 winning bid. That is a steal of a deal for any car that runs and drives. Any car at all. If it will run and get you down the road, it should easily be worth a thousand bucks all day long. So here's what I'm going to do. This is too nice. This is too nice. And I'm, I'm really, I don't want to let it go. I don't. But the fact of the matter is, if I keep it, it's just going to sit in the grass. It's not going to do anything. It's just going to sit there. I have my, I have so many cars, guys. I'm not even gonna go through. I just, I have so many cars. I think I'm, I've got 16 or 17 cars currently. I got to get rid of some of them. And I'm telling you right now, if you miss out on this, I feel for you. Cause this is one you could come jump in and drive away. Absolutely. This is one you could jump in and just drive away. Uh, it should carry you home. She carry home, put some, just keep gas in it and take her home. Do a transmission service, this thing lasts you forever. I, I am in love with this van. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put it up. If you're watching this video, I will have a link to this vehicle. Um, as much as I don't wanna sell it, the fact is I don't need it. Someone else could really be getting some good use out of it. Put this thing back on the road. Uh, I don't know what to put the reserve at, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna set the reserve at a thousand bucks. I will, and I'll put a buy it now of 15. That's it, a buy it now of 1500, the reserve will be a thousand. And in my opinion, if it can't bring a thousand, maybe I should hold on to it. I don't know, I'll continue, I'll continue thinking about this uh, as I drive home. I just don't want to get rid of it. That's what it comes down to. I don't want I'm tempted to, to raise the price to a point nobody will bid on it, and nobody will buy it, and then I can just say, oh, gee, it never sold. Oh, that's not right, though. That's not right. Let's, uh, damn. Let's put, yeah, I'm going to put a $1,000 reserve. $1,000 reserve, $1,500. Buy it now. That's what we're going to do. In fact, I'm going to pull it up in the driveway right here. I'm going to take some pictures of the old girl. And we are going to get her listed up for sale. She made it 10 miles, no issue. There's no warning lights on at all. The damn thing starts on its own. It runs 
without a jump start, it, it needs nothing. It needs nothing. You can literally get in this one and drive it. So I may have gotten a few deals that weren't the greatest lately, but this one right here, I'm proud of this one. I'm real proud of this one. And I hope you guys are too. If you are, if you think it was a great deal, hit the thumbs up button and let me know. Share the video with your friends on social media. It goes a long way to help this channel grow and I truly appreciate it. Consider subscribing also if you're not subscribed. I got videos coming out like crazy right now, guys. Every single day we got videos popping out. So definitely subscribe to the channel so you don't miss another one of my epic 80s or 90s finds at the local Copart and IA auctions. Drop those comments below and stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.